Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're continuing with our Krieg Marine, and we're jumping right in because I just got out our paint. I put ash gray, and like I said, this is going to be for the legs and the feet, of course. Whew. You can already see that bright contrast for it. This is the recipe or the color scheme that I was using for my Krieg Kill Team. And uh, I very much like the results of it. I uh, kind of wish I had a, a, a trench base to go with this little marine right here, but we ain't that worried about it. We're just focusing on the marine himself however i have been asked some questions about my uh, trench bases and uh, i've even been requested to make a video on that kind of stuff uh, there's i've been kind of reluctant to do things like that because there's just so many of them out there but uh sometimes those tutorial videos they just have the pieces or the or the uh, the supplies that not everybody can exactly get or has the money to get at the moment. So uh, maybe I can show the people some alternate ways. I don't know. I even I have now stepped up and just gotten some supplies. Uh, but you'd be surprised just how simple some of those things can really really be. Anywho, hope everyone's doing great this week, this weekend. Since when this goes up, it should be Friday. Every now and then, things get a little delayed. Uploads take forever, internet sucks, life complications, you name it, things happen, life happens. And I don't have a team. I don't have a team right now. It's just me editing and uploading I don't need a team at the moment one day one day that would be nice we could pump out way more content I could devote a lot more time to it but honestly that just comes down to money uh, I've been asked before if I was gonna make a patreon and I've thought about it. If other people think a Patreon would be a nice thing, like a, a way for you to help support, uh, by all means, let me know. Because I have a Patreon. Uh, I have a rough draft waiting. I have not published anything just yet. But, uh, yeah, would be nice. It'd be kind of cool to do, I guess. I don't know. I've never done it before. All right. I've been mapping some things out in my head when it came to this, to this Maya, the little, to this model. Put model and mini in my head together. <laughs> uh, since we're going so light with this, uh, the ankle joints are going to be that rough iron. Same with the knee. That knee might be silver. That's what I did with the other one, the uh, the first Creek Marine that I ever made. Uh, I might just keep it even. If I did keep it even, it would just be for speed's sake. Like with all this, I don't have to be the most clean with my brush strokes because uh, the rock needs to be painted over. Uh, the only thing I'm really trying to avoid is the base, but I'm pretty sure that we're just going to muddy that up. And if we're going to muddy it up, I might not even touch the, uh, uh, the rock that this boot is standing on. 
because we can just muddy all of that and it can be under the mud but then again might just paint it hit it with some with some dark stone that's what I used for my uh, first Creek Marine that we painted thought I'd go with the dark stone make everything really uh, like a like a deep gray and I don't have all the paints in the world so I didn't want to mix my own recipe for a dark gray because the uniform gray or this uh, primer it's dark enough it's gonna give me what I want here today but uh, it's just not as dark as I would like it to be sometimes there there are times where I really could go with something a lot darker but it don't matter it don't matter like I said we're not touching these knees oh that's right that's why I was gonna go with uh it wasn't just for speed sake but it was the kneecaps the kneecaps are also gonna be uh, that gunmetal that silver yeah so we'll have rough iron knees and ankle joints with some silver touches because it gives a very nice contrast and like I said that's what I've been doing with my Creed kill team uh, their shoulder plates were that rough iron and the, the little plate that sticks out from underneath that silver other uh, helmets are that rough iron with the uh, silver stripe on top uh, very much German inspired you can blame that movie I've talked about it before all quiet on the Western Front whoo what a what a brutal movie what an awesome movie terrifying that movie actually terrified me. I've seen some reports online from people. They were like, it's not the most accurate thing, but it is the best at depicting the horrors of war. And I was like, uh, sure. Um, as far as like the most accurate thing, yeah, I'm, by the time they see the tanks and whatnot, I'm like, yeah, tanks have already been around for at least a at least a year. And uh, the movie almost acts like they're the ones who are getting terrorized with flamethrowers and gas attacks first when they're they're the ones who came up with it, if I'm not mistaken. Either way though. Whew, we got those pale gray legs. I know that looks damn near white under this light that I'm using. I guarantee you it is not that bright. And I've been I've been trying to keep things in focus for you guys. Uh, it's been it's been difficult. I'm working with a little bit of a different angle here. It's a little more angled downward whereas I I think we're used to shooting this way and this one's kind of like this. I'm just working with what I got at the moment. Uh, like I said, I've got a tripod and a ring light on it, and the phone is the phone is attached in the middle. So we got we got whatever we got. All right, but excuse me, terribly sorry. What the hell are we gonna jump to now? We could jump in and do the rough or do the uh, yeah do the rough iron. That is going to be a lot of parts. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Start to get it going. So yeah, we're using Armor Painter Rough Iron. This is going to be for the shoulders. This is going to be for the helmet. It's going to be for the kneecaps. And anything else that might catch my eye that I'm like, you know what, that'll, that'll look good. Well, you know like the uh, ankle joints and 
and to all of those that came here for conversation today, uh, sorry, I wasn't trying to make this a tutorial or anything. I just, it's been, <laughs> it's been a week. It's, yeah. So my mind's all over the place. Mid sentence, I'm catching things that I'm like, oh, I forgot to mint, I forgot to complete that thought earlier, and I, I have to finish what I'm saying, and I don't want to jump topic again, so I just keep going and then go figure. I forget about it again. So all I ask is that you like anything, just try to be, try to be patient with me, dude. Uh, we're all human. We all got a lot going on. You know what? I'm going to get that belt too. And I, you know, I had just gotten these new brushes and I already want new ones. <laughs> Part of that is just poor brush care. And maintenance. That's something that I had been looking into recently. There's people on Reddit and whatnot posting their their brushes, and they're like, "Dude, how the hell do I avoid this?" And usually the most brush care, and I'm like, "Well, sure." <laughs> Alright, let's get those ankles. I don't really see anything else on here to do right now. Not that we need to do more and more and more. Sometimes basic paint schemes are a good thing. What drives me nuts is, I, I've mentioned this before, I'm pretty sure, but like the Blood Angels um, and their basic paint scheme. You know, they got red armor, and they don't even have any gold trim on their on their pauldrons. I'm like, wait, you're just flat out red armor all over? I'm sorry, but that's kind of fucking boring. What the hell, dude? And I would say, just like anybody might say, any sane 40k painter, paint them however the fuck you want. It doesn't matter. You want them to have some gold trim everywhere? Give them gold trim. You want them to have some silver ankles? Give them some damn silver ankles. Like, it doesn't matter. Go for it. But when it comes to just looking at them lore-wise, I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? You've... <sighs> Splatch. You've only got just, just red? And then I never imagined them to have just flat black logos on their shoulder. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Uh, maybe white, but I never, I never really considered it to just be black, unless I never really thought about it and just accepted it back then. I don't know. It was. Uh, I'm saying back then when I when I was first getting into 40k, and I started reading. I was reading the uh, Rafen Omnibus of the Blood Angels by James Swallow. And I think it was James Wall. Those books are covered right now with other crap, so I'm not going to try to dig into it. I forgot the sword. I mean, not the sword. Fucking dagger. Whatevs. Keep moving. I think the black is still wet. So we got this. <laughs> Cause I was gonna do leather hilt for the uh, for that, but yeah, we'll do black. It'll help it stand out a little bit more. This brush is fraying on me, and it's driving me nuts.
I'm sure you can see it maybe. That one damn hair that's sticking out. God. I'm blowing through brushes like crazy lately because it's just been it's just been a painting madhouse for me lately. <clears throat> but that takes care of all of the rough iron on him. So we're going to move on to the main left pauldron. This is where the insignia would go. Uh, if you've noticed back here, I have a bunch of transfers sitting out. And I have them kind of dis displayed out so that I can remember exactly where they're going. So the two on the left there, those are going on the right shoulder. Uh, there's two more on the right. Uh, that is for the this shoulder, the left shoulder, and for the left knee. This has been this has been sloppy for no damn reason. I don't know. I don't know what's up with me today, guys. I'm trying to get it together for you. And I just don't know what, what is going on. I mean the silver's gonna fix a lot of this splotchiness anyway, because all that trim is gonna be silver, but still, man. I'm not trying to have a crappy looking model for you. This has still been painted from when I was doing my Picaridons. Because you can see the white rivets. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was good times. But we're painting over it. I might try to leave those white rivets. It'd be a nifty little contrast. This damn brush keeps fraying. Ugh. It's maddening, I tell you. Maddening. Also, running out of paint mid-stroke is just maddening as well. <laughs> Stroke. Ugh. It's been a... It's been kind of quiet today. Even I haven't had traditional music on. I've got uh, some Mass Effect. Uh, I've got some Mass Effect uh, ambiance going on. Mainly because I just I couldn't think of a damn thing to listen to. Uh, my music has been all over the place. For lately, I've been on a, a little bit of a James Bond kick. So I've even been listening to some of the movie intro music. Like, you know my name, Chris Cornell uh, from Casino Royale. So amazing. But, yeah. Yeah. It's been kind of quiet. I'm also... So I was a little more focused on this model than I was to see if it was focused on the camera. So if it was not focused on the camera right there, I'm um, sorry guys. Oh my god. It's been a while since an ad had happened. No, I don't use... Uh, YouTube Premium. I don't because I'm not paying for all that. We're gonna we're gonna bend this out a little bit so that I can get right under here. You see all that gray in there? I know it's I know it's not focused. It keeps focusing on my damn hand. But whatever. And those rivets are still white. So yeah, not a bad job. We're going to leave that. Those rivets deserve to be white. It looks good. All right, backpack time. So the tops of these are going to be that dark iron because, of course, 
the vents are going to be that silver. And we do like our contrast. But the backpack is going to be remaining that gray. Uh, if I were to do a literal translation, translation from my Creek Marines, the backpack would have to be that brown to represent the leather of the backpacks that they that they use. But we ain't, we ain't going all that crazy. This is a Space Marine, damn it. He's got to look Space Marine-y. We got about ten minutes left, and we all know how slow, for progress' sake, ten minutes can be. We're also not trying to rush anything here. Rushing just leads to more happy accidents, and sometimes I don't want to fix those happy accidents. At that point, they are not happy little accidents. <laughs> they are irritating time consumers. But we are going to paint up this part. This is something I usually do for some Space Marines, is I will paint this top part uh, some kind of metallic. It honestly depends. Because it is separated a bit on the model. So I'm like, you know what, uh, if the model suits it, if the color scheme suits it, I will absolutely do something like this, which obviously we're seeing I am doing. But good Lord. I really wonder what you guys are painting when it comes to this. I know my homeboy Biggest, he's always painting something when it comes to these uh, comes to these little videos that we do here. Think of that shovel. Yeah, it's gonna have a silver tip to it. Still got the leather strap on it and everything. So we're going to do it up, do it, do it, do it up, just like that. And we're going to leave that silver because that will be just fine. It is separated on the model after all. All right. That looks pretty good right there. Don't need anything there. Those banners I might leave gray. Debatable. There's the skull. There's that and there's that. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta map things out. Even if it's a quick. All right. That. Almost does it. Almost. We forgot about the helmet. So let's get that helmet. <laughs> I lost me head. Let's do this helmet real quick. So all that stuff is going to be silver. I've been liking working with this rough iron. Uh, it's been adding a nice quality to some of my miniatures. Uh, just having a, a deep metallic like that. It's, it's been pretty nice. Give things a contrast and give things just a different, darker look. Sometimes, you know, I'm just like, that That needs something dark, but I don't want to use black. Gray just ain't going to work. 
this brush is really starting to mess with me. With all of its frayed edges. Yeah, it's it's making this very irritating. And yeah, we're trying to keep it together for you guys. This thing is really starting to irritate me here. So let's see. All right. There it is. It's looking almost splotchy, but don't worry. It's all a part of the plan. But if anything, we are going to call it there. We will continue on to the next step, which should be the silvers and the coppers. Get that mask and we'll get rolling. But either way, we will see you all guys on the next round. Take it easy. Please be safe out there. Void Father, he's going to guide your brush. And let that be that. Take it easy, y'all.